Give and go off the pick. It'll be Ennis. He's got the triple. James Ennis, the 30-year-old. Winning, but the Magic know if we come in and do X, Y, Z, you know, if we shoot the three well, we don't turn it over, we can limit them in transition, we're going to have a chance to be successful. And there you early go. on, it's so good for shooting. That's why I think in the numbers in the restart, you know, the depth perception, not an issue. And you're seeing the percentages rise and a lot more rhythm offensively from both teams. And both teams shooting lights out for the most part. Orlando right now. Five of six. Make it six of seven. The mid-range game of Mark List. Just because you have a champion on your roster doesn't mean that that person is the right fit for your roster. He loves the group of people around Giannis Antetokounmpo who can help them be the way you would expect when you head into the postseason. It's now a 16 to 4 run to your point, Greg. 16 to 4 as Antetokounmpo tapped away on top of the basketball. The loose stuff goes to the guy that tapped it away, James Ennis. He got the stop. And Augustine looking for a triple. Kept alive. Can go step back mid range. Augustine had the right idea. Bledsoe's got the basketball. Almost taken away, but a reach by James Ennis. You were talking about Bledsoe and. and Orlando still shooting 55%. Fournier hit half his threes against them this past year. Ennis from deep. 1 o'clock Eastern or 1.30 Eastern today, the 1.30 start time. Eric Bledsoe was asked about that the other day. He said, we're trying to reach one goal. If they have us playing at 9 in the morning, we'll play at 9. It don't matter, GA. <laughs> it, 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 maybe it does matter. Well, I, I tell you what, you know, people would ask you about that. I, I'd have a saying about the other team, you know, a great team like this Bucks team. You're getting beat by the Magic. I say, listen, you know, the Magic, they get paid on the first and fifth team, too. And I would also say that the Magic are playing at 130 as well. Like, it's, it's not as if this is a West Coast team playing an East Coast team. You're going to get the foul there. But I just, a, again, you're playing out what he wanted. All of a sudden, for a 10-point game at the break. It is down to a three-point lead for Orlando and a timeout coming up for Steve Clifford. Shaky beginning to start the second half for the number eight seed. Here for the most part in this second half. It'll be real short. Not many touches for Fournier. He's 0 for 3 in 21 minutes, so he's only had three shots. Tough to find your rhythm. It's Middleton, and he's going to the free throw line to get another and try to tie things up. And how about the season he had you know he was basically going five of five in that last game looking for early offense not a lot of space over there give and go old school and tennis made it more difficult didn't he yeah he did he ought to finish a good look by his standards out front and nick has made just about everything it seems now he's three of six from beyond the arc even chenzo as it picked up by Ennis. So the response has been amazing by Orlando. Yes. After it was cut down to a one-point game, 69-68, because if you joined us to start the second half late, it was a 9-2 spurt for the Bucks. They need Fournier. Sure, sure, sure. And he's not close. Just clock situation, the patience there in that pick and roll, and giving it up at just the right time to create that opportunity. That's going to be a whole good play by Ennis. Yeah. And Washington Husky Terrence Ross with the Toronto Raptors at a 51 point game way back when It'll be Bledsoe blocked away by Ennis and a foul by James and get that jump on that's a huge play after giving up that Basket on the other end so Middleton 12 points can't convert the three-point play on 12 shots He's usually much more efficient than that you're talking championship caliber team. You're going to have to have a lot more from your second best player moving forward. Vucevic free on the arm. Got him again. Markel Fultz has taken over for Augustine, who sits down with 11. 11 assists, that is. Taken away a good read by James Ennis, and now the clock is your ally. That was a really good play there by Ennis, anticipating that cut and timing that pass. And they're going to keep Connaughton on Vucevic. He's going to wait till the clear is out. And he took a Eric Bledsoe. Off balance, finds Connaughton. Not close. I'll tell you what, that was a great job defensively. Anticipating where Giannis was, committing extra help, and, and poor spacing, I thought, on that possession by the Bucks. Bolts. 
Didn't call glass, but it's a second chance. Four. Got to go up. End of the shot clock. Vujovic knew it. That was a percentage buster. Thanks a lot. 30 seconds left. Now, Dedekubo, you should let him go. Don't want to stop the clock. And it's too late.